Hello everyone, it's Jin Teacher coming to you from Reading Town. I hope you've been doing well. If you take a look at today's title, it says three times lucky and it has a picture uh, of a man and a woman. So let's see what this article is about. As you can see, we see some money and we see something called a lotto ticket. So in Korea we call it lotto, right? But here, let's see if that has something to do with our article today. So three times lucky. Lucky means good things are happening to you, right? So it happened three times for probably that, that couple over there. So let's read today's article. It says, people buy lottery tickets in the hope that someday they could win the jackpot. So why do people buy the lotto ticket, the lottery ticket? Because they want to someday win the jackpot. Jackpot is the great one uh, first uh, prize. So if there's a lot of people who are trying to win the lottery, jackpot is when you hit it and you get all of the money or you get the largest prize. So people keep buying these tickets so that they can win this large prize, the jackpot. Soon they realize that it's just wishful thinking and it's even hard to match a few numbers. So people who uh, have this plan, one day I'm going to win this uh, great deal of money, but then as they keep buying the tickets, they realize that it's wishful thinking. Wishful thinking means you just hope, you're just wishing, but it's not really something that is likely to come true. So it's very difficult. Uh, so it's hard to match even just a few numbers on the lottery ticket. So on a lottery ticket, you can choose numbers. There's different ways to play, but one of them is you can choose numbers and there's a lot of different choices that you have. And for them to pick the winning numbers, it's very, very difficult. So an amazingly lucky couple named Barbara and Douglas Fink, who live in Canada, won the first prize and became the recipients of 8.2 million Canadian dollars. So recipients are the people who receive. So Barbara and Douglas Fink, this couple who lives in Canada, they won the first prize, they won the jackpot and became the people to receive 8.2 million Canadian dollars. So 1 million American dollars is shibok in Korean. So that's about eight times that. So that's about pashibok that they won uh, this couple. But it says it was not the first lottery prize in their life. So even though they won the jackpot of 8.2 Canadian million dollars, uh, it wasn't the first time. So let's see, it says their first win came to Douglas, the husband, Douglas in 1989, worth uh, 128 Canadian thousand dollars. With the second one in 2010, worth 100,000 Canadian dollars. The latest one was the biggest jackpot so far. So it's not the first time that this couple won. They won in uh, 1989 and they also won in 2010 and now they won it. Uh, so this is their third time. So very, very lucky couple. So we see that it wasn't as big as the, the one that they just won. The one that they just won is 8.2 million Canadian dollars. They also won $128,000 and $100,000 uh, Canadian. So that's about uh, Iraq and a little over Iraq that they won. So this is uh, three total prizes that one couple has won. So it's even hard for us to even win one time, but this couple has won it three times. Uh, Barbara said, I knew we had all the numbers, but I didn't know how many winners there were and added, I called Douglas back before midnight and told him it was more than eight million dollars Canadian. So uh, she knew that they had the numbers on the ticket, so they chose the correct numbers. But sometimes, because there's so many people playing the lottery, there could be split winners, they divide it. So if there's three people with the same set of numbers, those three people share the jackpot. So she knew that they had the numbers to win it, but she wasn't sure how many people they had to divide it with. But then at midnight, uh, midnight is 12 o'clock at night, she called him and told him that they had won 8 million Canadian dollars. So very, very lucky. The last part says, with the prize money, the couple wants to support their daughters and grandchildren. In addition, they plan to travel and buy a new house. So what do they want to do with the money that they won, the prize money? The couple uh, wants to support their daughters and grandchildren. So they want to help. So they want to give some money and help uh, their children as well as their grandchildren with what they need. And they also want to travel the world and buy a new house. So they're very fortunate. They're very lucky, not just once, but three times. So people play for years and years and barely win anything. 
Uh, but this couple was very fortunate that over the course of these about 30 years or so, they were able to win it three different times. And the last one was the biggest of them all. So uh, a lot of people think that, you know, why waste your money? It's very difficult. But then there's people like this who show you that, hey, you can win it if you're extremely lucky, if you're very, very lucky. Very interesting article. Uh, let's take a look at the comprehension questions for today. So as you can see, these are the lottery balls. So this is what they choose from to see uh, the winning numbers. So who is the recipient of $8.2 million Canadian? So who were the people to receive it? So we knew, we know that it was the man and the woman. Do you remember their names? Their names were Barbara and Douglas Fink. Right? And they were uh, the two couples who won it three times and they lived in Canada. What year did they get to win their second lottery prize? So we said they won it three times. The first one came in 1989 and the third one that we just talked about, the largest one was very uh, recently, not too long ago. But when was the second one? Do you remember? It was in the year 2010. So it was about seven years ago. Uh, what do they want to do with the prize money? We talked about it at the end of the article. Uh, we said that they want to do a couple things. They want to help some people and they want to do something and they wanted to buy another thing. So if you remember in the article, that's right. They wanted to support their granddaughters, right? As well as their daughters. It also said that they want to travel and buy a new house, right? So uh, they wanted to, with the prize money, help their family members out. Very nice of them. Uh, the last part, let's fill in the blank and Take a look at the sentences. It says people buy a lottery ticket in the hope that someday they could win the something. So we said that the great prize, uh, when you get the most amount of winning or the most amount of money, we call that what? We call that the, the jackpot. So most people, right, people buy a lottery ticket so that they can win the jackpot. Well, let's take a look at the second sentence. Soon they realize that it's just blank and it's even hard to match a few numbers. So what is it when you're just thinking about it all day, but it's something that's probably not going to happen? That's the way that you think and that's wishful thinking. You're making a wish and you're thinking about it, but it's very, very unlikely to happen. So that's wishful thinking. So try to win a million dollars, right? Or even a hundred thousand dollars. Sometimes, right? Most of the times that's wishful thinking. The last sentence it says, it was not the first blank prize in their life. So we talked about uh, Barbara and Douglas Fink. We said that it's not the first time they won the prize. So it's not the first which prize? It's not the first lottery prize. They played the lottery tickets, right? So uh, you may know some people. I know that lottery is also played in Korea uh, and many people uh, buy tickets with the hope or you can say wishful thinking of winning a lot of money. But we know that a lot of times because it's so hard to match the numbers, uh, that not a lot of people are able to be successful. But we have people like the Finks who have won not just once, but three times. So this may give hope to people who want to get rich and win, want to win the jackpot. So I don't know if you agree or not, but this is something that has actually happened. Very unlikely, but a happy couple in Canada has won it three times. So I'm not going to say you should play either because the chances of winning is very unlikely, but if you have that wishful thinking and you believe that you can be just as lucky as the Finks, well, good luck. Well, I'll see you next time. I hope you do well. Goodbye, everyone.